Welcome to Memorable Moments in Topeka History. I'm Harold Gingrich. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. We want to talk about one of the most influential people to ever come out of Topeka. His name was Byron Price. Byron Price was born on March 25th, 1891 to John and Emmeline Price. He was born and raised about a mile north of Topeka and three miles east. Graduated from Topeka High School in 1908. In fact, right here is his senior picture. One of his classmates was Bishop Edwin J. Yoder, who was a significant uh, farmer, dairyman, started a dairy, but a great influence in Topeka, and they were in the same class. Well, Byron Price, following graduation, went to Wabash College down in Crawfordsville, and it was there that he got more involved in journalism. And when he graduated from Wabash College in 1912, he went to work for the Associated Press. Worked there from May until December when he joined the Associated Press. Was assigned to Chicago and then later to Washington, D.C. and became a bureau chief in Georgia for a while. During World War I, he took a leave of absence, went in as a lieutenant, came out as a captain, was stationed and was part of the action in France. But the amazing thing of Byron Price is what happens with him following the war. He comes back, he's involved in political campaigns, covering those and political conventions, and also traveling with the presidents, with uh, Hoover and some of the others. Well, 1941, war breaks out with Germany and Japan, and Byron Price is made the chief the head of the Office of Censorship for all of the United States. And his work there was absolutely amazing. He was so well respected that he was able to assemble a, a staff of over 13,000 people across the United States. And they had voluntary compliance to censorship, which was unheard of. And nobody thought that that was possible. And yet Byron Price was able to make that happen. We're fortunate as a historical society to have some video that was newsreel video that would be shown in motion picture theaters prior to the start of the movie. And this newsreel footage uh, is of him being actually sworn into office. Byron Price, Associated Press Executive, poses with Attorney General Biddle and Postmaster General Walker who served with him in the new office of censorship. Mr. Price is head man as director of censorship. He's sworn in by the attorney general's assistant. As in England, the censorship office will police the nation's communications during the war period. And as in England, the careful scrutiny of every item in transit may also become regular practice over here. Necessary wartime precautions. It can happen here. Following the war, he became the Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations. And there were several Assistant Secretary Generals, but he was the only American one. And he was responsible for the staff. He was responsible to oversee the whole construction of the United Nations building in New York City. And on a personal note, I just lament the fact that when I graduated from high school, we took our senior trip, spent a couple of days in Washington, D.C., spent a couple of days in New York City, went and toured the United Nations building, and nobody ever told us that Byron Price from Topeka was the one who oversaw the staff and the construction of the U.N. building. Byron Price married... Uh, uh, Priscilla uh, Alden. She was a ninth generation descendant of John and Priscilla Mullins Alden, who came across on the Mayflower. John Alden came across, he was part of the crew. He was a cooper, he was the barrel maker. And Priscilla and her family came over 
and he decided to stay. I don't know if the two had fallen in love by that point or not, but they decided to stay. He decided to stay. And unfortunately, in that first horrible winter, all of her family died. Well, eventually they got married, and Priscilla Alden then uh, was a ninth generation descendant of them. And so it's, it's a pretty exciting thing. Unfortunately, uh, Byron and Priscilla had no children but made a significant contribution to the United States. And we are very, very proud of him and the fact that he was from Topeka, Indiana. Said that he stood about five foot, 10 inches tall, weighed about 190 pounds. And he died on August the 6th in 1981. Also of note was that during the Cuban Missile Crisis, President Kennedy had convinced Byron Price to come out of retirement if war broke out with Russia and to again run the Office of Censorship. Byron and uh, Priscilla are buried in uh, North Carolina, Hendersonville, North Carolina, which was their home. And as I said, he passed away in 1981. So an amazing man who came out of Topeka and we're very proud of him. Thank you for joining us. Uh, look forward to you joining us on future episodes of Memorable Moments in Topeka History.